getting the most out of the Z-Power rechargeable system. Place your hearing aids in the charging dock every night. When charging is complete, the charger's flashing green lights will change to a steady, solid green. Charging may take up to 7 hours, depending on how depleted your batteries are. If you have to take your hearing aids off during the day, put the hearing aids back in the charger. Rule of thumb, if the hearing aids are not on your ears, they should be in the charger. The batteries will not overcharge, and this will not decrease the overall life of the battery. If the charger is not available, it's okay to open the battery door for a few hours until you need to wear your aids again or can put them on the charger. If you are not using your hearing aids for an extended period, take the batteries out. Once the low battery warning occurs or once a hearing aid shuts off due to a low battery condition, do not open the battery door to reboot the hearing aid. Rebooting after the low battery warning can over-discharge the battery and compromise the overall battery lifetime. If a low battery warning from the hearing aids is received, place the hearing aids in the charging base for charging or temporarily switch to non-rechargeable batteries. Store your rechargeable batteries in a safe place away from metal objects like coins or keys. If the hearing aids are not going to be used for a few days, the hearing aids should be kept in the power charging base. If the charging base is not accessible or the batteries will not be used for over two weeks, the rechargeable batteries should be removed from the hearing aids and stored in a location where they will not touch each other or other metal objects. Do not open the battery door to turn off the hearing aid for more than three hours. Circuitry in the battery door will continue to discharge the batteries even though the hearing aid is off. Leaving the batteries in an open door for days can lead to over-discharging the batteries and compromise the overall battery lifetime.